We want to be loving people. What makes for genuine love in the world? Paul offers the marks of true love that are to be lived by the faithful. Our daily Bible verses form a vivid framework for loving and just behavior. In these verses, we learn to respond to enemies' hatred, curses, and mistreatment, not with the weapons of the world, but with the goodness of God living in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Romans 15.20, Paul's affirmation that he did not consider Rome as another apostle's specific territory or mission field has led another group of scholars to suppose it could be that church that Rome was established by some of Paul's converts from Asia and Macedonia. The letter to the Romans is the longest and arguably the most influential letter that the Apostle Paul wrote. In fact, Romans is placed first among the other New Testament letters. The Apostle wrote this letter with his apostolic mission to the Gentile world in mind. Paul wrote this book in order to prepare the way for his missionary trip to Rome and his anticipated mission trip to Spain. Paul also needed to address certain problems in the church between the Jews and Gentiles. Their attitudes were ungodly toward each other. And as their apostle, it was Paul's responsibility to correct them. And this leads us to our key verse for today, which reads, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. When we experience God's love despite our failures and imperfections, we are better able to love others. Out of this love for others grows an orientation toward respect, kindness, affection, and a show of sincere concern for the welfare of others. We may find ourselves desiring God's best for those with whom we interact. We don't mind helping others achieve their God-given goals. It is this love, grounded in God's transforming mercy, that Paul says reminds us that we are to prefer one another in honor. We are to look beyond the present to the possibility seen by God in others. Paul tells believers how to demonstrate their Christianity in practical ways. He acknowledges that it is not easy to be a Christian in the world we live in. Many people will do us wrong just because we are Christians. Perhaps that is why he says, Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, in verse 14. God wants us to respond in a Christ-like manner, since he has given us the Holy Spirit to enable us to overlook offenses. Paul tells us how to react when others experience a season of joy. We must be happy for them and rejoice with them. On the other hand, we need to learn how to identify with another's pain and sorrow and weep with them. Every believer will go through seasons of joy and pain. We should be sensitive and available to the needs of others. Paul reminds believers of our responsibilities in living out the gospel, to feed our enemies, give them something to drink, and treat them well, for in so doing you shall heap coals of fire on his head. Those who have treated us wrong will be surprised that the evil they perpetuated against us did not overcome us and cause us to react negatively. They will be ashamed of how they have mistreated us. In fact, our goodness toward evildoers might motivate them to change their lives and become believers in Jesus Christ. Here's our lesson. Today, people are looking for the real thing in every area of society, including the Church of Jesus Christ. They want to know whether walking in the way of Jesus really actually makes a difference. We are called to be distinct and set apart from the world. Let us be the light he has called us to be not just on Sunday, but every day of our lives. Our focus is often on justice, but we also need to turn the mirror on ourselves and ask whether we exhibit loving and just behavior toward each other. Many problems in our communities, such as gangs, joblessness, and the lack of mentors for the next generation, could be solved. It starts with simply committing to be a good neighbor, When we walk in love toward other people, we will treat them justly. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire. For who we truly seek is you.